In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a dot plot using Microsoft Excel. And you can see on the spreadsheet here, we already have the data entered. This data goes with problem number 24. This is on page 73 in your textbook. And it has to do with the number of hospitals per state, including the District of Columbia, that have won patient safety awards. Okay. So once you have your data put in, you want to come over here to the side and we're going to use the command count if. And we'll put in equals. This is telling Excel we're getting ready to give it a mathematical command. All right. And I'm just going to start typing count. And you see what all has come up here. We've got count, count A, count blank. Here's count if, that's the one we want. And I can finish typing it in there or I can double click on count if, either way. All right, now we're gonna open the parentheses and it's asking me for the range. In other words, where is my data starting? Well, my data is starting right here in cell A2. And as a matter of fact, it actually goes all the way down to cell A52. And so we wanna be sure we count each one of these cells because we want Excel to count the number of times each of these numbers appears. I want to know how many states had two hospitals, how many states had zero hospitals, how many of them had five hospitals, and so on. Okay, but in every case, um, the data begins with cell A2. So to tell Excel that we're always going to be starting with cell A2, this is not going to change. We put in the dollar sign dollar sign, this would be column A, dollar sign, row 2. So we're always going to start there and you can see A2 has now been highlighted in blue. All right, mm -hmm. now we're going to put in the colon because we want to tell Excel how far we want to count. Okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to count each individual cell between A2 and A52. And so I'm going to tell it to count from dollar sign A, because we want to stay in column A, and then cell 2. Now, there's not a dollar sign on this one, because we want that cell to change. When I move down to cell B3, I want that to have A3 on it instead of A2. So by not putting that dollar sign in there, that'll leave the A and A, but it'll change the 2 into a 3, comma. And then we're going to tell it what cell we're in. And we're in cell A2 at the moment. And what it does is it populates that cell with the number 1. Because right now, Excel has counted one instance where two hospitals showed up. All right. If we go back up here, we're going to highlight that cell. And notice this little box down here in the corner. We move the cursor up till it changes to the plus sign. I'm going to left click on it and I'm going to hold it and I'm going to drag it all the way down to the end of my data. Remember, I have to go down here to line 52. And once I get there, I'm going to release it. And you see how all of these cells have now populated with numbers. And these are the instances that each number of hospitals has come up. So the first time it happens, we get a 1. So like this on, on row 9 here, this is the first instance we saw 12. And I don't know if there's another 12 in here or not. Yep, there's another one right here down on line 50. So you notice that the um, cell is now populated with a 2. That's because this is the second time we've seen 12 hospitals that won an award. Okay, now that we have all of our counts done, we are going to come up here to the top where our title is. I'm going to left click on this and I am going to hold it and I'm going to drag it down over both columns of data here. And then once we have everything highlighted, we're going to go up here to insert. And I'm going to come over here to the recommended charts. And Excel is going to 
give me the chart that would best fit the data that I have highlighted here. And it's telling me that it's a scatter plot. And that's the one that we're going to choose. And so you can see that this is what our dot plot would also be looking like. And I'm just going to bring this back up here to the top and then we'll do a little bit of housekeeping with it. Because before you turn this in, you do want to be sure and have those um, axes labeled and you want to be sure and have a title on here also. So we're going to come over here to the plus sign. I'm going to left click on that. And we have our axes on here, but we do want some axis titles. And I do want a chart title there. So now it's giving me some room for that. You can put the data labels on there if you want to. Notice that, you know, it tells you right here above how many dots appear in each one of the columns. That's what those numbers up there are. Um, error bars, we don't really need in there. The grid lines, uh, it looks better with it, but I think most of the dot plots that we draw by hand, we draw without the grid lines in there, but it doesn't really matter whether you leave them there or whether you don't. Of course, the legend and the trend line, we don't really need that one in there either. All right, so let's just put in the titles that we need to have here. So this is the Hospital Safety Awards. And down here along the bottom, this is the number of hospitals in every state that won an award. Number of hospitals. Per state. So the number of hospitals that won an award per state, and over here, we can just call this the count because that tells us how many awards were won in that state. And there you go, we have our dot plot done in Excel.